What do you think? Get your um, ideas in mind. Quilava. Okay, that's a weird one. Let's see what Quilava's moveset is. I don't know if Quilava's good. Um, we already have Charizard, so it's another starter. Is that 1%? Yeah, 1% encounter. This is our second 1% encounter of the run. Wow, this turns like no moves. What the heck? Yikes. That's bad. We have so many lame fire type Pokemon. So the mediocre encounters continue. What can you do? It's a Nuzlocke. Beggars can't be choosers. And the egg gift. We haven't hatched it yet, but we can add it. Golem has been a lifesaver, as has Tenta. It's in the hands of what we came here with. And those are our last encounters before Flannery. Okay, Expert Keegan. PC is always warning about this, that he causes you to lose Mons all the time. Am I up to the challenge? We'll find out. 99% of the time, Rapidash gets this knockout with Drill Run. No! Oh, it was 93%. We are in a much more precarious situation all of a sudden. <sighs> okay, so we're dead to gunk shot. And I do not want to lose Rapidash here. Grumpig is the best sack for the length of the run. I don't think we can beat Flannery without Grumpig, though. How many times do you teach you, old man? Here's the gunk shot. Okay. Now it's Solar Beam. Let me go. We steal Chlorophyll with Trace. It's Solar Beam. It doesn't crit. Greeny, thank you for the follow. We KO a Psychic, because we're faster now, thanks to Chlorophyll. Okay. We don't want to see Houndoom come in. We don't know because I don't understand the calc as we've already shown earlier. It is Houndoom. We're dead to pursuit. But we're also dead to overheat and we're also dead to crunch. It's not pursuit? Okay. It's overheat. No crit, please. Okay. Now we don't get the kill and we are slower. We're still susceptible to pursuit, you guys. We're dead to overheat plus pursuit. We can't get out of this. I'm gonna go Grumpig. It's Crunch. So we'll die to Pursuit here. It wasn't even Overheat. Goodbye, Grumpig. Our Flannery just got a lot worse. We're not even out of this fight yet. <sighs> Sorry, bud. <sighs> Gluttonous. I had I had plans for you. Rapidash only gets it guaranteed at 70. So it might kill itself with overheat here. 
If this overheat crits, we're in an awful position for Flannery. Salic Berry. That's another thing I didn't think about. We just lost Rapidash. I don't think we can beat Flannery anymore. It's faster now. We lived! We lived on Hidden Power! What? What just happened? Why did it use a move that didn't do anything? We lived on one! The imaginary focus band! What? <laughs> Sludge bomb. Get us out of here, dude. Holy shit. Death count is up to four, and uh, it's gonna be much more pretty soon. We have no hope of beating Flannery Deathless. I'm not exaggerating. So this is the team we're gonna be bringing. Let me uh, introduce y'all if you're not familiar with the crew. We're gonna use Playful, the Rapidash, and this is one of the two Mons I'm planning to sack. If we high roll a bunch, maybe it makes it out alive. But we're using this with Chesto Berry because uh, part of the high roll plan is that Nine Tails, like let me show you Flannery's team, Nine Tails uh, prefers to use Hypnosis when it's slower than the opposing Pokemon. So we're going to hope it uses Hypnosis while we two hit KO the uh, Nine Tails with uh, Drill Run here. Okay, so next we're using Cherry Berry Gardevoir. Um, well, not in that order, but um, this is our counter to Blaziken. So we're, we're thinking we're going to switch into preferably any move but Blaze Kick. So we are dead to Blaze Kick, Blaze Kick crit, Click. but um, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a random move at this point in the battle. So it's only like a 25% chance, I think, maybe less because of the priority the computer gives to Solar Beam. Um, so. As long as we don't switch into Blaze Kick, we just get the KO on um, on Blaziken with Psychic, and we are using holding the Cherry Berry because we, it could be Thunder Punch, and we don't want to get paralyzed. Okay. Uh, next, we're using Sceptile. Our Sceptile is Lonely Nature, so it's got a good attack stat. With the Experience Share, it'll level up to level 43, and at level 43, Rock Slide does minimum 101% of Charizard's health. So as long as we don't switch into Heat Wave, this gets the KO in Charizard. Have they adjusted Rock Slide's accuracy? Yes, it's 100% accurate. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, in this game it's 100%. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, next, we are going to be using Tentacruel, and I feel really precarious about this plan. Um, our plan for Cast Form, which you can't see on the guide right now, let me scroll a little bit. Uh, cast Form was going to be taken care of by Grumpig, if we had a Grumpig. Rip. Um, it never died to any attack plus a crit of any attack. It still lived at 10 HP, or 10%. Um, so we had to improvise. Don't you dare say Roxanne's calling, Hop. Rude. Um, we, <laughs> we're, we're going to take, hopefully, any attack that's not Thunderbolt. And we are going to use, um, or, or that, that's the switch in. We take an attack that's not Thunderbolt. Then we get Thunderbolted. We use Mirror Coat to um, do like 80% to them or something. And then we finish it off with Muddy Water because we're faster. We're faster um, with the badge boost. Next, we're going to be using Meg Cargo, which I was trying my best to avoid. I tried putting Magmar Calx in. I tried putting Typhlosion Calx in, Charizard Calx, Hitmonchan Calx. I tried any possible way to chip either Typhlosion 
Or to, to kill a gas mask. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that was a funny comment, Alex. Alex has got zingers today. Um, so we're going to be using this, hopefully... I have a plan in mind that's very sketchy. I don't know. We're going to try to recover as soon as we take extreme speed. That's the move I want to switch in on. We take extreme speed, we get solar beamed. We'll take like 60%, we'll heal back to 90%. We'll go back down to 50, we'll heal to full, and then we'll do two Ancient Powers, is my plan. And then, finally, we're sacking Firo today. So, say goodbye to Fear, the Firo. They're not long for this world. Their main plan here is to use Soft Sand Drill Run to chunk the Typhlosion, and hopefully not get crit in the process of switching in and die. So we're just trying to get one attack off on Typhlosion and put Typhlosion in range to where Rapid Ash can finish the job. <laughs> 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 we told our buddy, uh, the mod, uh, who loves Casperm that we're killing Casperm on stream today, and he's not pleased. I've been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall, uh demonstrate the hot moves we have honed on this land or whatever? <laughs> for Granddad's Blaine, I guess. Thank you for the follow, Kate. Kate! Alright, Flan. She'd like to battle with Nine Tails. I would also like to battle with Fire Pokemon. The sunlight is strong, but I'm stronger. We're going to go a drill run. This, we're going to attack first. If we get a crit, we just knock this out. No. Show me hypnosis. That's really bad. It's a bad way to start. That's 50%. Doesn't feel good, guys. Oh. Hmm. So, suboptimal to start. We could have left this in engagement with full health. Not the case. We have a useless Chesto Bear. There's the critical hit! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I see how this is gonna go. She's just playing around. It never goes according to Flan. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, we get the necessary level we needed on Sceptile. Charizard comes out. Max Heat Wave is doing 55, so we're not dead to Heat Wave. So theoretically, there's no way that the computer uses Heat Wave because we're out of range. So instead, Charizard wants to be using Earthquake or Solar Beam right now. And we're gonna go into Sceptile safely. So we have some HP to work with later if we want to rock slide and hope for flinches at this point. Is it, what's the flinch rate? 30%? So? 20%, I believe. Rock slide for knockout. This always hits because we're level 43. If we were level 42, it would only be 80%. Let's go. Let's go! That's two down, and we've got six. But it's not the most precarious ones. Cast form time. Graham, don't look. Okay. Alright, so this is flamethrower or ice beam. Probably flamethrower. We always go into tentacruel here. And we've already showed off the first move that we learned by heart scale. That was rock slide. Hopefully not see a burn here. Okay, that's a good indicator. Now let's take a look at this range. So Tenta is up against Chaos Form. And Maximum Thunderbolt is 70, right? And so we're gonna smack this back for up to 140 with Mirror Coat as long as we don't get critical hit. So we retaught 
Uh, we didn't reteach. We uh, we learned Mirror Coat using our final heart scale. We have none at this point. All to make the run keep going. It's Solar Beam. That's actually... That's good? It's good if we get to like 60% here. Okay, I think we... I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's just double check, right? So what are we expecting it to use? Thunderbolt, right? But the computer sometimes uses Solar Beam just because. Um, because it's in sun. It's hot out. Yeah. So, um... Everyone likes a bit of sunlight. Tentacruel in the sun. Muddy Water is doing minimum 40%. That looks like minimum 40% to me. I think we're safe here. No need. So little Muddy Water. We're faster. And despite this being in the sun, we have a 31 IV special Let's attack go. tentacruel. Let's go. He's just vibing. Things have gone, like, slightly not according to plan. I would say, like, 20% worse than I expected because we lost so much HP on on Rapidash. But basically, we're on, we're on script. This is going to be Blaziken. Yes, we're at Flannery. Roche. So, Thunder Punch here, probably. Probably. It could be Solar Beam. It doesn't really make a difference, I don't think. We're gonna go in the Gardevoir this time. This is Flannery. Floaty. Yep. We're still in the easy part of the battle. Thunder Punch. Yep. We were only living 6 of 16 hits there with Tentacruel, so it wasn't worth staying in. Yeah, Floaty. It's Flannery. We will be using Psychic. It's always KOs. Get out of here, Blaziken. Go home. Go home. So we have six Pokemon, and they have two. But by no means have we won. It is Arcanine. This is what I expected. So this wants to extreme speed me. This Arcanine, the max damage from this is 45. As long as we're not getting crit. And we deal... 51 max, right? So, at this point, we definitely go for a hit. We, we're just hoping we don't get crit, but we, we really need the damage here. So we're gonna Psychic. I don't know if it's spam because Blixer the Memer commented. Well, he was here first. I saw him before them. So we didn't get crit with the extreme speed. We get the 51 damage off. We're going to go into my cargo. This was the plan all along. It's extreme speed. Okay. Pocket so, takes those. That's a, that looks like a low roll to me. I don't think we're dead to crit solar beam here the first time. They are going to be healing with leftovers. We have to account for that too. Okay. So we're going to recover. They're all new accounts. Oh, I wonder why they're hitting me. That's really weird. Okay, we get to full health, I think, here. Yeah. So we definitely go for Ancient Power now. And we have it. We have Arcanine wherever we want them because. We don't do over 50% to this, we do like 45, but we have enough health to get two Ancient Powers off, as long as we don't get crit. As always, as long as we don't get crit. Or we're gonna get the stat boost here, so no issue, right? It goes for Wild Charge and gets Recoil. That helps. Stat boost. Next. Okay, so we're plan is the same. We are still trying to just avoid one more crit here, and then we only have to worry about what do I do? Do I recover, or do I... We want to make sure... Okay. So we want to make sure we're at a range where Typhlosion is definitely using Earthquake. That's what we need to make sure. So let's look at Typhlosion versus Meg Cargo. Be level 43. Alright. 
So Earthquake, of course, is always killing us, but we want to make sure nothing else would be killing us. And for that to be the case... Well, we just want to make sure it's not Wild Charge, actually, or Heat Wave, right? That's not going to be Heat Wave. So we want to live with 40%, which we won't do right now. So I think we go for Recover. Yeah, you think it's going to Wild Charge? It could, it's, it's Solar Beam or Wild Charge, it's... Um, it's pretty random here, but I'm, I think we recover and be safe. As long as we don't get crit this turn, I think we're pretty good. It's wild charge, which is even better, because we're not dead to this crit. Okay. It's hurting itself. That's great. Okay. Things are looking good. We're at a health that I don't think we die to crit here, even if we do get crit on this solar beam. I'm quickly checking... Uh, max solar beam is 102. We are dead to that, but... I think we want to go one more time. Just to completely get out of range. It's still wild charging. That's extremely good. So we're back to full. And now... Nothing can crit. Nothing like... kills us through crit. We should live this with more than 40%. I don't think we wait for it to kill itself with Wild Charge. I think we just go for it. Because we're going to get the stat boost on this Ancient Power. Well, that wouldn't matter because we died our Earthquake anyway. <laughs> okay. So, we get the kill here. We have plenty more. We're guaranteed to be going into Earthquake. So, we can make it out of this only sacking Firo. We have, like, high rolled so far. <sighs> Things are looking good. Oh my god. Okay. Because we have more than 40% of our health, Typhlosion is never using any of the two problematic moves, Heat Wave or Wild Charge, so Firo gets in here safely to do one drill run. Which is going to critical hit. Uh -huh. Earthquake, we're in for free. Now let's take a look at it how... It doesn't affect fear. <laughs> yeah, we're putting the fear of God into... into Flannery right now with our plays. So, let's just see what uh, Firo dies to here. I don't remember this off the top of my head. So Typhlosion is in play against Firo. Which is still 42, right? Yep. And um, we're dead to Heat Wave. We're always dead to Heat Wave. Um, the only way that we um, KO here is um, Drill Run gets it, what, they have 130? We'd have to do one, or... Um, 65, right? We'd have to do... There are seven crit rolls that we kill the Typhlosion here, so it's like a 2% chance, a little bit more than that. Um, so, Firo, if you want to continue on this journey with us, then you can crit this um, and get that 2% roll. Otherwise, uh, it's been good knowing you. I'm um, sorry you had to be call, uh, call, great bold nature. That's not going to do it, but it's going to let us win the game. Or win this win this battle. So, thank you for your service, Fear. And now we just need to make sure that we bring in a Pokemon that does more than 50% to Typhlosion. It has no priority moves. So if you look on the guide here, it only has Solar Beam, Heat Wave, Earthquake, Wild Charge. Now we go over the calculator. Um, Typhlosion versus Rapidash. Chat, put an F for fear. Pour one out for fear, please. We got some salutes for our boy. So Drill Run is doing min 50, and that looks like less than 50 to uh, me. Looks like less than 50. Okay, as long as this has 49% of its health, we have the win. Oh my god, playful. Frolicking around in the sun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! We beat Flannery! Yes! What up? Let's go! Yes! That's four badges for the first time! That's half of them! That's half of them! Attempt 70! Let's go! We've done it! We're in here! Let's go!